guys, my name is Caitlin. I am from grassfedgirl.com and I'm a holistic nutrition consultant. I've been working on healing myself from Hashimoto's thyroid disease for many years and I have most recently been using the carnivore diet for the past two, three years to help myself get better and it's been working amazingly. So that's what my video is about, how I detox my home and lifestyle as well. So stay tuned if these topics are interesting to you. Today we're going to be showing you my fasted ketones. They are really high lately because I've been doing dairy-free February. Um, I do allow butter, but for the most part I've been using ghee and I've been getting really high uh, ketone readings in the mornings. These are all my morning readings. I use the Keto Mojo meter, which is really easy to use. And you can get my link down in the description box for the Keto Mojo that I use. And also I use the Ninja Foodie air fryer. If you see that, that is the one that I have right now. I used to have a Cuisinart, which is more like a toaster, but I had an accident and I burned my finger. So um, I actually took that one back to Costco and I got this Ninja Foodie air fryer that I actually ha already had, but my sister was borrowing it. So I just took it back and because uh, she didn't use it that much. So that's what I have right now. Um, but I've been using a lot of other ways to cook my food because I'm just kind of off the air fryer now since I had an accident with it and almost burned up my whole kitchen. But let me know if you want a video about that down in the comments. So anyway, these are my very high readings that I've been getting since doing No Dairy February. So I did my morning ketones every day before I would eat breakfast. Sometimes I have butter coffee or ghee coffee before, um, but I've been getting pretty high re readings. So, all right, nutritional ketosis is considered 0.5 to 3.0, and that was defined by Jeff Volick and Dr. Finney, Steve Finney, they wrote a book, Art and Science of Low Carbohydrate Living, and they define that. And so a lot of people report when they have that high level of ketosis that they have no brain fog and they feel like they can do anything. They have lots of energy and focus. So um, it's a good idea to have those ketones, uh, but it's not required in carnivore, but it is pretty cool to see it because it just means you're really burning fat as fuel rather than relying on sugar to be replenished every few hours. So when you're burning fat for fuel, you have almost unlimited energy um, because there's so much stored body fat on most people's bodies. So you can go for days on your stored body fat rather than having to eat a granola bar every two hours like I used to. So um, if you have hypoglycemia or something, you really want to see yourself burning those ketones rather than just burning sugar and you'll feel a lot better and much more balanced and you won't be so hangry and uh, moody. So that's what nutritional ketosis does for me. But um, also I'm showing you some carnivore meals. And so I'm showing you some general, typical carnivore meals, simple. I always use salt on my meals. Uh, I don't use a lot of spices because I'm just wanting to keep it really simple. I enjoy how easy carnivore is for cooking and everything. So I usually just use salt. Uh, my eggs, I like to put them in the blender really quick before I cook them. And I usually cook my eggs in ghee. Uh, so hopefully that answers your questions that you might see in this video. And these are my morning ketone readings and also some typical meals that I would have. Uh, usually I eat my first meal about 10 or so, and then I would have another meal maybe at four or five, and that would be about it for the day. Um, or I may eat some eggs early, like at eight or seven, and then eat a bigger meal like at 10, and then eat again like at four, something like that. So um, it's been kind of snowy and wintry here, so we're kind of just cooped up in the house so these are just some of the meals I've been having lately and my ketone readings, which have been really high because I've been cutting dairy. After I had my baby, I really wanted to get stricter and lose more weight, lose some of the baby weight. So 
I cut out goat cheese, which is one of my favorite things, and I was eating a lot of it, so I wanted to see if it would make any difference, and it seems like my ketones are a lot higher. I think I have lost a few more pounds, um, but it is going very slowly, so it's kind of frustrating, but, you know, it's good to see my body is responding with the ketosis, and, um, you know, maybe my inflammation is going down, and I believe that over time, my body will go back to where it was before I got pregnant, so just have to be patient. Okay, just took my blood here. Whoa, that is a really high number for me. No cheese omelet. Okay. Just got my food ready. These are some Teton Waters grass-fed hot dogs with some spicy mustard from Aldi. These hot dogs are from Costco. They're grass-fed hot dogs. Really yummy. I'm eating this about 10 a.m. I already had some eggs a little earlier. So yummy. About 8 a.m. Fasted ketones. Scrambled eggs. And then I'm also cooking some short ribs in the air fryer. So I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, these are my air fryer ribs. Short ribs. I'm gonna. They're, they were frozen, so they were stuck together. So I gotta pull them apart, but they're getting there. Making these short ribs for lunch. I put them in the air fryer for about 30 minutes. Get them really, you can see it's kind of, I'm excited to eat these. Just salt. And I air fried them for like 30 minutes. Sunday morning, I'm gonna get my blood here. Get my ketones. Pretty good, 2.0. I already had my butter coffee, so maybe it went down a little bit. What I'm gonna have for breakfast, some um, scrambled eggs and ghee, there's my ghee. And I'm having this flat meat, so excited. these with water so here's the lid so I'm going to put those together and I can take my unflavored relight so I can sleep good and feel good on my carnivore diet. Okay I have my, my strip here. Okay, I'm going to put that in the air Pretty good. This is Thursday. It's about 9 a.m. I didn't eat anything yet. Chops. And I salted this side and I got my air fryer really hot. So I'm just gonna lay them in here. Yeah, that sizzle. It's really hot. This is my new 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 air fryer. My old one exploded in a fiery fall. Anyway, so then you just set the time. I'm probably going to do about maybe eight minutes and then start. Okay, so I just opened up my air fryer. I think I'm going to turn them over. Cook them a few more minutes. And some more eggs too while I wait. This is four Four eggs that I cooked in ghee and, 
and this is my favorite pan. You can get it down in the description box. These are my eggs. Okay, I just had some eggs and my butter coffee. Whoa, that's the highest one yet. This is another favorite meal, ground beef patties. I'm making these in my cast iron. I have a large cast iron, another one of my favorites. And this is the beef I got from Costco. It's American raised Wagyu, looks pretty good. It's very fatty, so I'm excited to eat this. Yum. I just put a little salt on it. Put these over. So in summing up, you really have to make sure that you're doing carnivore for the right reasons. It really has to be for health if you want to stick with it for the long term and experience the benefits. Um, you want to do it for mental clarity, for increased mood, for uh, increased energy, and not just for that quick weight loss because if your why is not strong, you will give up and you'll go back to whatever you were eating before. So. Um, I'm really happy to see my body is responding. I feel very happy with what I'm eating. I'm very full. I never restrict my food. And um, I feel like this is something I can stick with for, for a really long time. And if you've been through all that I've been through with food addiction and um, yo-yo dieting and then thyroid disease, then you would really want to give this a shot <laughs> because it's really the best I felt since um, I started having thyroid problems in 2010. So anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe, share with a friend, and leave a comment down below. It really helps me out. Let me know what you want my next video to be about, and tell me what kind of air fryer you have. That's a great thing because I might be in the market to buy a new one. This one I have is just kind of a loner, so let me know what kind of air fryer you recommend. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.